In this video, we will see a logical progression leading to an immaterial foundation of reality, as expressed by four renowned figures in human history. The von Neumann chain in quantum mechanics concludes with the necessity of a conscious, immaterial observer. Leibniz's monads reinforce this by being the indivisible, immaterial constituents of reality. Aristotle's unmoved mover, as the first cause, must be immaterial to avoid an infinite regress of movers. Finally, René Descartes asserts the primacy of consciousness as a non-material subject. Together they form a cohesive philosophical and scientific narrative, suggesting that the core of existence is rooted not in the material, but in the immaterial realm. This concept, known as the von Neumann chain, presents a sequence of observations in quantum mechanics, where the act of measuring a quantum state is passed from one device to another. However, this chain cannot be infinite. It must culminate in an observer who is not just another link in the chain, but a conscious entity. This conscious mind, by observing the measurement, effectively stops the chain. This suggests that physical processes in quantum mechanics ultimately converge on a non-physical conscious observer, indicating that consciousness, an immaterial aspect, is essential to the manifestation of physical reality. Leibniz posits that complex systems must be reducible to simpler, non-complex elements. If these simpler elements are still complex, they too must be further reduced, leading to the inevitability of reaching simple, non-divisible constituents of reality. According to Leibniz, these fundamental constituents cannot be material, as matter, defined by its extension, is always divisible. Therefore, these indivisible constituents cannot be extended, and hence cannot be material. This leads to the conclusion that the ultimate constituents of reality are immaterial entities that do not occupy space. This logic beautifully connects with the von Neumann chain, where the physical collapses into the non-physical. Aristotle's concept of the unmoved mover addresses the idea that everything in motion must have been set in motion by something else. However, this chain of movers cannot regress infinitely. There must be an initial cause or a prime mover. This unmoved mover, by definition, is not moved by anything else, implying its transcendence beyond the physical realm. If it were material, it would require something else to move it, thereby not being the prime mover. Thus, the unmoved mover is necessarily immaterial, representing the ultimate source of all motion and existence, independent of the physical realm. René Descartes, in his philosophical exploration, asserts the primacy of consciousness through his famous statement, cogito, ergo sum, I think therefore I am. Descartes argues that the very act of doubt or thought confirms the existence of a thinking self, which is essentially non-material. This emphasis on thinking and consciousness as fundamental realities aligns with the von Neumann chain's conclusion of an immaterial observer and Leibniz's concept of non-material monads.